Experts say we are seeing an increase in yellow jackets across the state. News 8's Kiara Smith explains why and what you should do if you get stung. Yellow jackets are buzzing through the state and they are here in full force. You may be wondering why. We are seeing an increase in yellow jacket activity this year because of the consecutive last two winters have been relatively mild, mild and wet. It's been very good for them. These wasps have bright yellow and black stripes on the abdomen. 15 to 16 species are here in Connecticut. They are also known to attack the invasive spotted lanternflies seen across the state. This right here is a yellow jacket nest. Dr. Gail Ridge says it takes four to five months to get to this size here, and it takes about two to 3,000 yellow jackets to make this. Southern yellow jackets have also made their way to the state. They are known to be more aggressive. Reports show they have been spotted in Wyndham County. But if you see yellow jackets near your home and the nests are getting larger, you may need to be able to um, control them, and that's at nighttime. Um, Wasps are night blind, so you can actually treat them at night in the dark using um, aerosol spray of bee and wasp. And keep this in mind if you get stung. They should put ice on the site. That numbs it and also slows down circulation. If they get a swelling of the limb or difficulty of breathing, they need to be going to the emergency room immediately. Kiara Smith, News 8. And speaking.